Hey guys, Ryan here. Today I'm going to be telling you guys about the comic books that I read. So I grabbed the first issue of the ones that I read. And obviously you guys all know I read Walking Dead, so I just wanted to, you know, let you guys know about that if you don't know already. But I just grabbed this one because this is my favorite complete story arc of Walking Dead. Um, the Whisper War. Um, in the variants, this is the connection of variants. I have it hung up. I figured I'd shoot it over. I figured I'd film this video over here because... Um, my original setup, which is the game, all the Game of Thrones, Mungo Pops, or whatever that I have, um, that literally has nothing to do with comic books, so, yeah, let's get right into it. Okay, guys, so this is the, I have, there's three of them that I read. One of them, or two, both of them are probably pretty, um, obvious, and these three are actually new. The three other comic books that I've, like, been reading lately have ended, um, because I used to read Invincible, Outcast and Extremity. Now, I know Outcast was ending. I'm not sure if it has it or not, but anyways, yeah, Extremity ended, and Extremity was like my all-time favorite comic besides Walking Dead. It still is. It probably is my second favorite, or no, third favorite, because one of these is really good, and you have to check it out. So, um, anyways, so yeah, Invincible, that also ended, and that was an amazing comic. Um... But yeah, so these ones have came out recently, so I've just been picking up issue by issue. I haven't really been paying attention to the trades, like Invincible, because I was really far behind, and it was like 130-something issues in by the time I got started reading it. So, anyways, so one of them that I read is called, the oh jeez, I just hit myself in the face. Anyway, so it's um, Oblivion Song by Robert Kirkman and Lorenzo de Felici. So, yeah, you need to check this one out, because it's about, like, it's about an alternate universe called Oblivion Song, and people have been getting lost in it. There's monsters, and yeah, so it's really good. I don't want to spoil too much stuff about it, but it's really, really good, and I definitely recommend you check it out. Um, I have issues one through five, so just like a little quick uh, thing. I actually like thought I had it on my pull at my comic book shop, so, and I didn't, so I ended up just going in monthly or something whenever a new issue came out so i just picked them up monthly and never put it on my poll so because i haven't been going to my comic shop all that much lately because it's kind of far away and my dad can just stop on his way home from work if like the new issue of walking dead comes out and that's usually when i go to pick up the new issue so i don't have to make like a bunch of trips because it's kind of far it's further away than you than i prefer but um anyway so i like i just didn't even realize that i haven't been pick getting it lately so i just ordered them um, actually today, issues 6 through 11, and then 12 came out today, so I have that coming as well, but, um, anyway, so, I didn't even realize that I wasn't, like, reading it anymore, which is irritating, because it's a really, really good story, and if you haven't read it, I highly recommend it, um, it's by Robert Kirkman, as I said, so, and we all know Robert Kirkman is a really good writer, so, recommend him, um, and then I also read Die, 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 which is also by Robert Kirkman and Sky M. Gimple, People that have both worked on The Walking Dead. Obviously, Robert Kirkman created The Walking Dead, but Scott M. Gimple, he was a showrunner. Um, we're not going to talk about that, though. Um, anyway, so this is a really, really nice read. Um, it's really, really fun. It has violence and gore, also some comedy. And, yeah, it's, it's just really, really entertaining, mostly because of the violence and the comedy. And um, you just know what's coming out of it. It's just really, really fun to read so anyways and then I also read Murder Falcon which is by Daniel Warren Johnson who wrote um Extremity and Extremity was like one of my it's probably my third favorite comic besides Oblivion Song I love Oblivion Song but Extremity I also really really liked it I enjoyed it it was it's a really really good read if you guys haven't read it I'm sure your comic book shops will have the t first two trade paperbacks because it ended on issue 12 so that's probably why but Anyway, so, Murder Falcon also is by the guy that did the art and wrote um, Extremity, and he does the art for this issue as well, and writes it, so, I'm going to show you guys some of the artwork, because the artwork is very, very cool. If you guys have um, read Extremity, then you guys probably know what the artwork will look like. It, it's very, very similar. It's got monsters, and it's, I'll show you guys the first page so I don't spoil too much, but, yeah, it's really, really enjoyable, and I love this comic book um yeah it's just fun to read so um this is how i like to do 
or read some of my most of my comic books because they like they like ship them out or like send them out in some of the mega boxes. That's how I got hooked on Oblivion Song and Murder Falcon. Um, some of the other ones that they've sent out like Outpost Zero, Birthright, um, Out Outer Darkness, and Hardcore. I haven't really actually read these. Like, I've read them, but I haven't actually read other issues because I didn't enjoy them as much as I enjoy, like, Oblivion Song or Murder Falcon. I actually really kind of liked this issue, but this is issue 31 and Birthright, so I'd have to go back and read, like, the first volume or whatever just so I can get caught up. Because I didn't want to read the entire thing in case I did get hooked on it, and then I'm, like, spoiled an entire issue. But, yeah, so these are the three comic book series that I read besides Walking Dead. These are the ones that I recommend most out of the one out of all the comic books I've read. I obviously recommend that you read Walking Dead. You obviously like that. But Murder Falcon, I recommend. If you like Extremity, you'll definitely like this. So I do recommend it. Um, Die, Die, Die. It's by Robert Kirkman. Of course, you'll enjoy it. So, And then Oblivion Song. If you're into, like, I don't know, sort of like fantasy stuff. It's not really fantasy. It's more, well, it is fantasy. Obviously, all this stuff is fiction. But um, it's more fiction than fantasy is what I meant to say. But you will really enjoy this, I can promise, no matter what you're into. If you like Walking Dead, you'll probably like this because it's by Robert Kirkman, but um, I just enjoy all three of these, and yeah, I mean, if you're into, and if you're into Walking Dead like me, then, and I'm into Oblivion Song, you'll probably like Oblivion Song just as much as I do, and I highly recommend you check out all three or well, four of these comics if you haven't read Walking Dead, then I don't know what you're doing with your life. Um, obviously, this is not a Funko Pop video, so if this is what you guys were looking forward to, I'm sorry, I'll come up with one soon, but anyway, so yeah, please check out Oblivion Song at least, because I know that you guys will mostly probably like that one. Die, 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 I know you guys will like that too, and if you like the Extremity, you will, I promise you, you will like Murder Falcon, so yeah guys, thanks for watching this video, I really hope you guys enjoyed it, please feel free to like, share, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.